Advertising is an often neglected element of popular culture because advertising is inherently tainted to its commercial instrumentality. Yet, advertising circulates like any other cultural product. It draws on the same pool of cultural references, relies on the same mass media, and engages the same audience as other expressive media. Advertising slogans find their way into public discourse. Unusual advertising is discussed with acquaintances and occasionally blogged about. Advertising, advertising images animate fantasies, and some advertising speaks to social issues going far beyond advertising's commercial purposes. On the other hand, audiences break it out advertising sales pitch and creatively appropriate advertising content to enrich their cultural repertoire and demonstrate cultural competency. Regardless of being driven by commercial purposes, Advertising often seeks to engage target consumers, consumers in meaningful, thought-provoking ways. It attempts to talk to people's lived realities, stirring aspirations which go beyond acquisition of commodities and include societal issues. Advertising's omnivorousness and readiness to incorporate the new and recast the old make advertising a dynamic, a dynamic space where changing social and historical milieus are creatively engaged and where sociocultural norms are reproduced and negotiated. If following Stuart Hall, popular culture is defined through its rootedness in actual material conditions and lived experiences, advertising campaigns are a part of popular culture because advertising as a discourse about people, values, good life, uh, talks about also socially appraised aspirations and lived realities. Advertising vision often resonates with lived realities, making them communicable, and in that sense, it empowers people who experience them. As Stuart Hall argued, popular culture is assembled from whatever is available, including commercially produced cultural products, and the outcome is not a coherent popular culture that opposes a dominant one, but rather a jumble of fragmented, contradictory impulses for containment and resistance. So advertising is one of those commercially produced cultural products that comprise popular culture because of their relevance for making sense of everyday experiences. Yet expressive content of advertising, no matter how emancipatory, is subordinated to the advertising's fundamental commercial purpose, which makes advertising popular cultural aspirations particularly rife with contradictions.